Have you seen that? Uh, we did a building for Kroger uh, in Groveland. Um, that is kind of the hub of the distribution for um, for all those trucks that you see kind of going around town. And uh, what they have on top of, they have something called the Hive. And it's basically oh. crates on crates on crates with groceries in them. Mm. And then they have um, a thousand robots that pick your groceries and put it into the truck, essentially. I have not seen that. Um, David, pull that up. Very yeah, it's, pr- it's pretty cool. Just Kroger, Okado. Kroger. Yeah. K R O G E R. And then O C A D O. And this is for distribution? This or is co- distribution. So uh, once you pull it up, you'll see kind of a cool. Um, yeah, just click on the first link there. Uh, either one. I'm sure they're about, about the same thing. There's one that has a video in it, which the video is always cool. Kroger to add new Okado technology to automated fulfillment centers. Huh. Yeah. And so let's see if they have any. Go back to the the first link. It's probably better. There we go. Yeah. So Okado Group. This is yep. a technology company. Yep. Partnering with Kroger. Yeah. That's essentially what they're doing. So you have created this, and where is this located? This is in Groveland, so just right outside. There we go. Just That's what you're going to look at. So the groceries were sitting in these bins. Where's Groveland? Um, right next to Lakeland. Oh. So just down the street. So they are... What? Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's so cool. So Florida now has this. Very yeah, yeah. interesting. Been, um, How many of these are in Florida? Just one. So this was the first of its kind. Yeah. I would assume the state was very interested to see something like this. Well, what's what's interesting about it is, um, you know, you can basically hit a uh, a much broader base from a single facility. So now all of a sudden, th- their goal is that eventually someone's going to be able to just put the groceries in the fridge for you and you don't have to do a thing. Because so th- it's always going to be like, the, th- think of this as the modern day milkman. Um, mm. where, you know, it's a little hard to create a bit, well, and, and they did it, um, to d- deliver just milk to your house, right? Think about it. You're going to spend, let's say, $10 a week, well, 10 to $20 a week on milk. Um, it's a lot different when you're going to spend 150 a week in groceries. Mm. So all of a sudden, it, it takes that same model, um, obviously creating... Whoa. Yeah, it's wild. They have a the thousand. online supermarket. They have a thousand robots moving around. It's so cool. Now, what you have built is uh-huh. different. What you've built is a logistics center. That no, no, that's that. So it's basically a center that has that inside it. Um, and, and Kroger's the grocer that, that, that is distributing everything. So when you order a Kroger grocery... Uh, let's say you go online and you order one of those little robots is picking your, your groceries up um, and putting them into uh, into the truck. Whoa. Isn't that cool? And do they service what? Uh, Tampa Bay? All they, the- uh, all of, they, they, from that facility, they can do all of central Florida. Whoa. From it's, one facility. It's they bananas. Can, so they can service millions of people. Yeah. yeah. From one centralized facility. From one facility. And yeah. it's, and it's in Groveland, which is like yeah. near Lakeland. Yep. So it's pretty whoa. wild. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did yeah. I not know about this? When was this completed? Uh, we did it two years ago, three years ago. Fantastic. David, yeah. can you look up Groveland Okada so I can see? Oh, it's going to be Groveland uh, Kroger. Okay. It, so it's a partnership between the two companies. Got it. So so what happened is Okada has the system. Um, Kroger is their um, sole. There you go. I'm surprised. Well, Maybe there was some sort of negotiations at play with Publix, but I'm just surprised Publix wasn't really all over this, but I don't know. Uh, you know, that's... Um, Let me take a guess. Publix already has an incredible footprint. Kroger doesn't. This is Kroger's quick way to get saturation. You, Yeah, in general, I would think you'd want to avoid being in markets that you already have a grocery store because it could cannibalize some of your sales. Right. Kroger may not have physical. Wait, right there was perfect. That's exactly what I was saying. Yeah. Scroll down. Kroger may not have physical grocery stores in Florida like Publix, but they do have a massive fulfillment center that's allowing them to do on the on the demand delivery in and around Orlando, yeah. Lake County, three hundred and seventy five thousand. That's square a big feet. building, very tall too. Very tall. Yeah, because you got to be able to get that nest in there. So it's kind of interesting. Yeah. If you look at if you look at that image though, those things are pretty deep. Holy smokes, this yeah. is wild. Yeah. yeah, it's a cool system. They've they're uh, they're definitely kind of 
pioneer in the future there. So yeah, that's the building. We so built that's for. it. And it's yeah. five stories or so tall, something like that. Four. Um, it depends on where you're looking at it. There's two stories of office in there. And then there's um, a so, lot inside. So all the Kroger trucks I'm seeing, those little small trucks, cool. those come from that facility. Yep. Whoa. And the whole thing's probably cold storage. They have Certain some. Parts so this it. actually, there you go. This is it right there. Oh, my God. This That's is so unbelievable. Cool. It's amazing. Now, you now, you now, keep on looking. It's mesmerizing because you look at that and uh, you look so at you that. You go on the like, Kroger website. You, you put things into your cart. You check out. You can put in, I want one banana. And it'll show up with one banana. There's no minimum? Oh, no. my God. Yeah. Look at this. And you're like, you're looking at that and you're like, they're going to hit each other and they never hit each other. But you always like, you're waiting for that one to hit each other. They're flying past each other. It's so cool. Absolutely fascinating. And the fact that this is the only one in Florida and you guys were a part of it, I'm sure is really exciting. Ah, it's really cool to be, that's, that's what I love about this job. You like, you know, the one day you're looking at this, the next day you're looking at someone's home, the next day you're looking at, you know, how to do s- feeding Tampa Bay. And it's just like, cool. You know, some days we're thinking about how, you know, what, what's something going to smell like. And, and, like and I did see people <laughs> working. So it's, you know, this does, Oh no, there's a lot of jobs. Of jobs. Um, I want to say they have, you know, four to 500 people is the number wow. I kind of heard off, wow. you know, off, so there's a, there's a lot of amount of jo- uh, jobs to it. No, it's, it's, um, we're just evolving. We're just becoming more and more efficient with, with the way that we operate as a, as a civilization. And so, you know, sometimes that means it's a, um, something like this. Sometimes it's automated vehicle. Sometimes it's AI, um, that's doing things. And it's just, uh, it's a cool time to be alive and, and, and working in, in the real estate space because the real estate space has to house everything that's going through there and you have to figure out, you know, what's the new puzzle today. Hey guys, if you want to watch the full episode of this clip, click right here. Make sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Thank you for watching.